Hello everyone. The role of Mary in Christ's work of salvation takes us back to the story of the fall of Adam and Eve at the beginning of creation. Now in a very important passage in scripture called the Proto-Evangelium, that means the first gospel, God announces the coming of the Messiah, the battle that will take place between the woman and the serpent and his eventual defeat at the hands of her son. This is what it says. The Lord God says to the serpent, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Genesis 3, 14 to 15. The church has always understood that Christ, the new Adam, born of a woman, fulfilled this prophecy. In the New Testament, St. Paul is the first to reflect on the relationship between the first Adam and the new Adam. And this is what he says. For as by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15. What Adam bound up through his disobedience, the new Adam loosened through his obedience. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. Romans 5.19 Now, through reflecting upon these scriptures and others like them, the early church began to see in Mary the image of the new Eve. Already in the second century, the parallel between Eve and Mary is well understood. Saint Irenaeus a bishop and theologian from the second century explains, Just as Eve, having become disobedient, was made the cause of death for herself and for the whole human race, so also being obedient, Mary, being obedient, was made the cause of salvation for herself and for the whole human race. Thus, the knot of Eve's disobedience was loosed by the obedience of Mary. And let us not forget the frequent claim, claim of St. Jerome, the celebrated doctor of scripture. This is what he says, death through Eve, life through Mary. All this illustrates the importance of Mary's role in Christ's redemption. Now, her role as the new Eve expresses not only her relationship to, to Christ, but also to us. Her work in our salvation, though secondary to the primacy of Christ, is nonetheless a part of God's design. The Church understands this and so from ancient times has commended all Christians to her care and intercession. Let us acknowledge Mary's role in salvation as the new Eve and join our voices in the words of the ancient prayer which says, We fly to thy patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our needs, but deliver us from all dangers. O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Now that's a prayer from 250 AD. Now thank you all for listening, and God bless you all. Oh.